Hey guys, it's Louise here and welcome back to my channel. So, it's here, the finale. The finale is here. I'm not ready for this to be over. I'm not ready for it to end. But it has to end. And it's gonna end now. So let's just get into the episode and see what the hell we have in store. I'm really excited. God, I love Vader. I love Vader looking out a window into space. It's like the greatest shots of all time. I have a feeling Luke is gonna die here. They're so cute. Forever waiting for Qui Gon to speak. Are you ready? Lone Jedi is not just any Jedi. Oh. Damn, what a line. He's not just any Jedi. He was my brother. Alone. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. I am very scared about this. I am very scared. Where the hell are we landing? Oh my god. I can't believe they're both gonna be alone. Oh! Well, that's so fucking wholesome. What the hell? Nervous beep. Yes, Sam, Lola. Good. Holy shit! They haven't even interacted, they're just walking together and I'm already freaking out! I will do what I must. <gasps> then you will die. He did the line! That's the... <sighs> you will die! That's the Ahsoka line! Oh my god, oh my god. Dude, Vader's moves. Holy fuck. Dude, if he cuts his mask open, I'm gonna freak. I'm gonna actually freak. Oh, the lighting. Oh my god. Dude, I fucking love Star Wars, man. What the hell? Dude, I have no words to even say during this. This is just incredible. And that is why oh. Will always oh my god, he's terrifying. Oh, he has the high ground now. Oh. <laughs> Guys, I think Obi-Wan's dead. I wonder if she still thinks... Does she think it's Kenobi's or does she think it's Darth Vader's? What do you want? Now we're gonna hear Qui-Gon's voice. Or Anakin's voice. Oh my god. Through strength I gain power. Oh, that's so ominous. Just Vader walking away in this creepy planet. Come on, Obi-Wan, show him who the real master is. Holy fuck! Dude, this is insane. This is literally insane. Oh, not the... Oh, I hear him hear Vader's breathing in pain. Oh, stop fighting your brothers. Come on. <gasps> Anakin. Oh. Anakin is gone. Holy fuck. I am what remains. Oh. I'm sorry, Anakin. For all of it. You 
didn't kill Anakin Skywalker. I did. I did. Goodbye. Darth. Oh my god, to see in the anger but actually behind the mask. Holy shit. Did that actually just happen? Did we actually just witness this? Is this real? Am I dreaming? You're literally doing what happened to you, what you were scared of, what caused you trauma. Yeah, see, you do not see yourself in this? Like, come on. Don't traumatize the poor child like you've been traumatized by his father. Can't do it. There's no way she's gonna be able to do it. I mean, obviously she doesn't, but there's no way, like, even if we didn't know, there's no way she'd be able to do it. Are we just gonna see her, like, walking back with the boy? Apologize, Reva. Come on. <laughs> Reva crying. Yeah, same. <laughs> I felt that. Have I become him? No. It was up to you. Oh my goodness. Please give us more Reva content. Please. <laughs> Oh my god, I want to see what she does next. I mean, personally, I'd keep the lightsaber because it's pretty cool. Just change the kyber crystal. Oh, see, Kenobi is such a... Oh, such a, like, nice heart. He's so pure. But her character arc has been incredible. And she didn't die! Oh. Oh. Oh, shit. I wonder if your thoughts oh. are clear on this. Kenobi means nothing. Yeah, yeah, sure, whatever. Serve only you. Da, da, da. They did it! They finally gave it to us! In the most beautiful shot as well. Oh! Oh, I kind of would have liked to see her reunite with Bill. There's the hair we all know and love. She looks so cute. Oh my god. It's Obi-Wan, isn't it? I think you should sleep. Oh. Kind heart. Oh, the Leia theme playing in the background. Stop. Came from your mother. You need her gifts from your father. No wish I could tell you more. This entire episode is just a tear fest. She was already strong and independent, but Obi-Wan definitely helped her become the Leia that we know from, you know, the future. Ending shot, just Obi-Wan flying away and then cut. And that's it over! I don't want it to be over. Oh, it's not over. Oh, the robes. So beautiful. Oh my god, he looks so good. Damn, Kenobi! <laughs> he said the thing! He said, oh my god, there's oh there's seen so many references in this fucking episode. I can't my my heart I can't handle it. My brain can't handle it. There's a force ghost. Holy shit! I was beginning to think you'd never come. 
was always here. What the fuck? 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 They did it! They did it! They did it! Dude! Alright, I need like 10 hours to recover. I don't know how to process any of that. I... I literally... That was the most incredible episode of any TV show that I've ever witnessed. I think that's like... That's definitely made it up into my top three favorite lightsaber jewels of all time. I don't know what because it's it's hard to fucking rank them. But that Vader, that oh my god, that Vader and Obi Wan has become top three, one hundred percent. My other two are um, also Vader and Anakin related. Vader versus Ahsoka is my other one, and then the other one is Vader versus Ventress in uh, Clone Wars two thousand and three. Um. That was so fucking beautiful. Like, I fucking knew that they were going to do the mask cut. They fucking, they were, oh my god, there's... Oh. Sorry, I don't, I don't know how to describe any of my feelings right now. But Vader with a broken mask is like one of my favorite things in all of Star Wars. Like I said, the Vader versus Ahsoka fight is one of my favorites. And let me just say, the parallels between the both of them with like, then you will die and, um, you know, the, the mask, like I said... I, I was stunned. But here's another reason, like, another proof that I love the broken mask so much. Voila. Um, I... It, it's just it's just my favorite thing to see. And having it in live action and seeing Hayden's actual face. And not even just for a quick moment. Like, the way he, like, speaks and you hear his voice coming through. And seeing his eye, seeing the anger on his face. Because usually you just see, like, an, an emotionless mask. Even though with Vader you can see through his mannerisms, through his, like, the way he moves, the way he talks, the way he acts. You know what his emotions are. You know how he's feeling. But actually seeing his face is just, like, taken to the next level. It, it just makes him so much more real. And it makes it, the emotions feel a lot stronger. Um, there was so many references. Again, there was the references to, you know, to Rebels. There was the references to, you know, the hello there. Motherfucker said hello there. Uh, we got Qui-Gon. We actually fucking got Qui-Gon. We got Force Ghost Qui-Gon. We've been asking for this for like a million years. I'm... So happy and oh Liam Neeson is so wonderful. He looked so good. He sounded so good. We love Liam Neeson. We all do. Everybody does. Um Big rep for the Northern Irish. Let's go. Um but yeah, that was absolutely beautiful. Um Reva. I'm so happy that she's not dead. Like I was I genuinely came into the show and as we were going through it, I expected her to die. I mean, with last episode. I'm surprised that she didn't die. Um, and I'm really, really, really happy that she didn't. Because this means we could get more Reva content. And I absolutely adore her. She has become such a, like, a loved character for me. Um, her story is incredible. Um, her journey has been really interesting. And I'm really excited to see what she plans to do after this. Um... So, uh, yeah, please, please give us more content. Give us more. I know people, I think there's been rumors that there's going to be a Reva show. But again, I don't believe rumors because every day there's something new on Twitter. Like, oh, we're getting this, we're getting that. And it's usually never true. So I don't want to believe any leaks or rumors until it's been officially confirmed. However, please give us a Reva show. I'll be so happy. Um, seeing Luke and Leia again was absolutely wonderful. I love how much impact Leia had on this show. Um, and I think her actress was just phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. Um, I... We didn't get to see an awful lot of look. Um, it wasn't overly convincing for me, but he's still wonderful. He's still, you know, it was look. You know, what What else can you want? Like, it, that's fucking Luke Skywalker. Um, I'm trying to think what else I have to talk about because so much happened. So much went on in that episode, and I just... Let me know. I want to know what your guys' favorite part was. I mean, it's probably going to be the, the Vader and Obi-Wan fight. But my god, when Obi-Wan like lifted like everything from behind him and just started throwing it. Oh my god, that man. Ooh, Obi-Wan. 
I think this is... I've always loved Obi-Wan. Obi-Wan has always been, like, a favorite. I mean, I feel like it's a favorite for most people. But this has, like, brought him even further up, like, my love list. He's just absolutely wonderful. And Ewan McGregor has done such a wonderful job of the transition between, like, younger Obi-Wan and older Obi-Wan. And I'm just... I'm so excited. I want more. Give me more. Give me more. Um, but yeah, I hope I didn't miss anything. Um... It was also good to see Papa Palpatine back again, you know, your boy. Uh, having Ian McDermott back. Having Ian McDermott, having like James Earl Jones, having Ian McGregor, oh, everything, it all just fits together. Like we've had, we had Ian McDermott, we had uh, James Earl Jones, Hayden Christensen, Ian McGregor, um, Liam Neeson. Like, my mind is blown. Who in, who in all of 2022 like how, how did how did the how did this happen? I I just oh. and we got to hear the Imperial March. I have been wanting the Imperial March since Vader walked off those bloody ships, and we didn't get it. And I was so disappointed. I thought we weren't gonna get it, and then they played it, and I was so that that I think that just that just like made the episode complete. That made the entire show complete. I'm so freaking happy. Um. But yeah, I, I, again, I don't know what else to fucking talk about. I'm just stunned. I need, I, I need to like relax. And, oh, and also, I'm sorry that this episode is going to be like later than usual. Um, but I had to stop the episode like eight minutes in because I've been having some health problems, uh, which is why it's so delayed. So I, I apologize. Um, but it's, it's, you know, you're watching this now. So it's probably uploaded by now, obviously. Um, so yeah, um. I still need to upload my Jedi Survivor um, reaction. I still haven't got around to doing that. I have it edited. I have it recorded. I just... I should have said that the other way around. Um, I have it ready to go. I just keep forgetting. So I will upload that this week, even though it's probably lost all interest, but I haven't lost interest because I'm so excited for it. Um, and then I will try and figure out what else to do because I don't know what the fuck else to do uh, until Andor comes out and the Bad Batch, and whenever the Mandalorian, and Ahsoka, and all those stuff comes out. I'm so excited. Um, also, I will be a Star Wars celebration in London next year, so let me know if you guys are planning to go. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, please don't leave negative comments, because I will just delete them, because I don't want like the toxicity to be like overwhelming. Like Toxicity is like really overwhelming in this community. Um, and I just want this to be a positive, safe place. So please try to keep your negative. Like, you're allowed your own opinion. That's completely fine. But don't try and bring other people down for enjoying this. Or don't try and state your opinion as a fact. Um, you know, all that kind of bullshit. Uh, but thank you guys for watching. And make sure you subscribe for more Star Wars content. And I will see you whenever the next video will be. So uh, may the force be with you.